Hey, Brad, you know what time it is? Food for <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so this month's Food Fight Bracket, we are going to be doing... So our goal is to have the best charcuterie by mm. the end of this. So all of your items together, we each get to pick five. I've seen I have, some wild charcuterie boards out there in the world. I've seen like yep. butter ones. I've butter. seen... Butter. Like, mm, yeah. I've seen like ice cream ones. I've seen Ooh. ones that like don't make any logical sense. People are just <laughs> yep. wild with our charcuts. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> so because it's February, I thought the so the charcuterie together has to have like it has to have some sort of like cohesive theme. That theme is up to you, and it can be as narrow or broad as you like. But it's the idea is to not repulse your partner that you're going to share this with. Okay. So if I put so, so like re, like herring or like pickled something is I probably, don't, might be might be weird to some people. Uh, I that yeah that's weird that's weird. <laughs> Think of off the jump of all the things like you a said. charcuterie <laughs> charcuterie board with like a deviled egg and like a pickled egg, and now you're getting excited. I don't know. <laughs> now you're thinking. I mean, that I would be pretty good. <laughs> I love a deviled egg. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of my favorite apps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, yeah. So think, yeah. I don't know. You you take, if you want to, if you and your girlfriend Why love to just, just share different kinds of eggs, just, go for it. Just take the classic charcuterie and do meats, cheese, and nuts and stuff. All right. Great. Your, let's your do it. Your B, charcuterie. There we go. That's it. <laughs> That's the sound bite. <laughs> All right. So since I surprised you with this challenge, why don't you kick it off? I'll give you first first bet. Okay. Well, first uh, pick. Here's here's my. Let me go through my thought process while I'm thinking about Please. number one. There's a lot of cheeses out there in the world. I don't need to take a cheese first. There's so many good cheeses. That seems like a waste. I need uh -huh. to I need to pick something that there's only one of. That's gonna be. Uh, you're gonna be sad when you don't have it, and that thing is going to be prosciutto. I don't even like prosciutto. <laughs> <laughs> so take that to the bank. <laughs> I had the opposite thought. I thought there's only a few cheeses Whoa, that are... Whoa, like, there's so many cheeses. But, but a few cheeses that really like come into their own on a charcuterie board... So my first pick is absolutely hands down going to be brie. You can serve that with so many different fruits and nuts and stuff, and it's good no matter how you do it. Are you so, a brie warm is, brie person? I try to warm brie. I prefer a cold brie. I like a warm brie. I like with some jam or jelly in there, some nuts. I don't like how it melts. Then I lose all my cheese. You know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the only thing you need that I need now, I'm I, I need a cracker. I need a I need a delicious mm. cracker, a and, and one of the best uh, crackers out there is I believe a wheat cracker, um, or mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh, I don't know what brand I'm gonna pick, but I'm I'm baking a wheat cracker. Wheat cracker. Wheat cracker. Okay. All right. I'm gonna follow your lead there because I didn't think about something to put this food on. Because <laughs> I can just eat some cheese plain, yeah, but okay, right that's a good. Here. I got it. I'm gonna take a sliced baguette. Whoa! Is it toasted? Toasted, toasted and sliced. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yep. Beat that. <laughs> um. Okay. I I'm gonna need to pull a cheese. Do mm -hmm. I need to pull yeah. this early? I need a cubed cheese. I need, mm -hmm. and I and I can get I can I can cheat and I can get a bunch of different flavors by picking a Kobe Jack, Kobe Jack ah, cheese. Your Kojak hack again <laughs> makes the <an> appearance. <laughs> oh, you just want one cheese? No, several cheeses <laughs> into one cheese. <laughs> Let's is do that it. the one that they that they do it like different around the holidays where like they'll make it like like a checkerboard looking like they'll press it into like a checkerboard do you know what I'm talking about and you can oh, have yeah. it in like fancy slices yeah all right that's a good choice I'll give you that okay my third pick 
I know there's lots of fruits to choose, but I oh, want to yeah. pick the sultriest of berries. Mm. I'm going blackberry. Whoa, is it dried or is it regular? Regular, mm. but it's kind of like a like a like a deeper, more sensual flavor for a berry, and I mm. think it'll play nice with the rest of the stuff we got going on here. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm gonna follow that lead because uh, that's this how this game is being played right now. <laughs> My fourth pick. I, there's two things I know I need to get, but I, I'll take that one. I'll take that one last because I can do that in a couple different ways. Okay. So I want a dried fruit. I like a dried fruit on a charcuterie. Wait, do I like okay. a fruit on a charcuterie? It sounds so confident. Do I want a piece of fresh fruit on there. Now I'm second. Now I'm second guessing myself. <laughs> nope, we're doing it. It shows up on the charcuterie. It's a dried apricot. That is classic charcuterie. <laughs> Yeah. All right. That's a really good choice. Yeah. I was thinking pear, but I think I can get a lot done. I think I can get a lot done with this dried fruit. It's not bad. And I'll say so far, both of these are sounding really good. You can't go wrong with charcuterie boards. That's the whole thing. That is the whole thing. Yeah. I think that needs to be more of like a common like dinner option, you know, like just have charcuterie one dinner. Oh, yeah. In the week. Maybe everybody else is doing it and I'm just late to the party. Could be. I don't know. Glass of wine and charcuterie board for dinner on uh, Wednesday nights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now I'm going to throw you a curveball here. <laughs> I'm going to do bacon wrapped jalapeno poppers. Oh, that seems like a lot of different things. <laughs> But it's one thing. It's one thing. It's one menu item. <laughs> so you have two hot things with the bread and the poppers. <laughs> I do. And then you've got well, you don't have a meat yet, do you? Uh, the bacon wrap. Oh, that's and the, I oh, don't. That's part of it. You're trying to get. You're trying to have your cake and eat it too by getting all in one. <laughs> you got your cheese. You got your sour cream. You got the whole thing. Yep. Yep. It's not breaking any rules. You should have took that <laughs> as your fifth pick because that because that is dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to see what kind of dirty tricks you can throw back. You know, <laughs> you got one more pick left. I do have one more pick left, but that, but my my one pick has to be what this is because it's the one thing I'm missing. I can't. I should. Oh, I screwed up real bad. <laughs> what is it? Hummus. <laughs> it has to be. You have to have, you have, to have some sort of dip. You yep. do. It's a, it's a perfectly <laughs> fine choice. <laughs> and it, it has to be. I can't. I Are can't like do something. I can't curveball back. That's the you suck me in the fifth spot. I gotta have a dip. I, can, I gotta have like I should have if I would have known. I would have switched out my cheese with a hot cheese dip. I didn't think it was gonna go this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That <laughs> this is great. I love how this turned out. <laughs> oh, what's your fifth pick, Jacqueline? Just ruin me. Go ahead. Fifth pick is uh, just your classic bruschetta for the for the baguette. So you have a couple options. To oh, use yeah, your baguette. You have, oh, I think I think I think you might have uh, done yourself in with that one. I don't think you need Why? two breads. I don't think you need two breads. I think you I think you overdid your breads. No, it's, it's no, check. bruschetta. Bruschetta is just the dip part. Oh, I is it? You, maybe I, I, is it pesto. Bruschetta? I thought a bruschetta. You need the. I thought a bruschetta. You need the the thing. You just you just want like a tomato spread. Is what you're thinking of. Was that what you want? Uh, I'm gonna look up what bruschetta is. I could have sworn you need that toast as part of a bruschetta. I think you just need. You want just like a tomato. Uh, you are absolutely dip. correct. Yeah, bread is an ingredient in bruschetta. I thought it what, was a thing. You that want a just tomato and basil biggest. like dip thing. Yeah, I do, but well, does that even have a name? Is, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if you can have that without the, the I don't, bread. I don't think I can. Crap! All right. Well, yikes. Okay, what do we got here? Three blackberries. Uh, what else did I say? Jalapeno poppers. That's three. Yeah, I mean, you can have the bruschetta dip, but I don't know if it has a name. Yeah, no. Uh, 
No, don't give that to me. You don't let me win so easily. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't have I don't have anything really crunchy. Like French bread is the outside it's crunchy, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm I'm, miss, yeah. I'm missing a nut. I'm missing all sorts of stuff on mine. I'm missing, I'm a, missing a nut. Yeah, I was thinking of how often I see like honeycomb and stuff on there, and I don't have. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with just a just a fancy. A fancy uh, lavender infused honey. Delicious. That's what we'll throw in there. Stephen Bear Dunes mm-hmm. has an incredible one. They do. That they do. <laughs> yep. Maybe a sponsor of the podcast. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the problem we're running into is a pres- uh, charcuterie board needs like 10 different things. It really does. I, I, yeah. We don't, we're, we're both missing a chocolate. We're both missing a nut. Oh, we're both yeah. missing like a salty like pickle thing. We're, we're down a lot. We are. <laughs> we are. <laughs> so what you're saying is no one's going to be happy. No olives. Day, no capers. <laughs> we're, we are hurt. Which well, is, you have an ol- you have olives and capers just automatically. Yeah, this is my pets, yeah. <laughs> Not as part of your charcuterie board, but <laughs> maybe they'll eat it with you. Yeah. <laughs> honey is just nice. I like your idea of, of having that honey and just like some drizzle of honey on stuff. Yeah, but there. But at the same time, there's not like honey on a on a warm brie is nice. But I didn't think this through because my brie is cold. I guess honey on baguette would be fine. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Man, I was so excited about this. Way to take all the wind out of the sails. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's disappointed for Valentine's Day this year. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the, the first thing going missing from your board is going to be those jalapeno poppers. Those are good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you're, you're left with four things on that board. <laughs> yeah, and those things uh, they're not really. My things are evenly together, but... dispersed throughout the evening. I think, but <laughs> yeah, <I> was... <laughs> you're going to be you're going to be cooking poppers all night long. <laughs> <laughs> Now, um, I forgot what I was going to say. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, okay, well, if we combined our charcuterie, maybe that's the best way to do it, oh, is to yeah. combine both of ours. That's why you go to charcuterie board parties, and you have everyone bring their own board. You don't know, know what you're going to get. You know? I've been watching so many charcuterie board TikToks. It's such a fun rabbit hole to fall down. I saw someone bring a whole seafood boil charcuterie board that looked incredible had like the corn and the potatoes and like the there i think there was a couple different butter dipping sauces or maybe they just had so you didn't have to share that might have been but uh that looked like a lovely one we're already over our our soup month but i was meaning to bring up have you ever done a hot pot jacqueline no i've wanted to they look so fun so there's a place near us that we go to frequently it's a hot pot place and it's the most fun it is the best food and it is incredible. It is the most fun to have. At a so you go. So tell me how this works. Like you go and they bring you, you pick, like the you, little grill. You pick your broth. The grill's already on the table. There's like six or seven okay. different broths you choose from. You can pick whatever vegetables you want, whatever meat you want, whatever like uh, noodle dish you want. And then they mm-hmm. bring it out to you and you're just cooking it in the pot. Um, vegetables take a longer to cook, so they bring you those first. Meat takes not as long, give you that second. Noodles instantly cook, they give you those third. There's also a station you go to where you get a bunch of spices and whatever stuff you want, you put it in a bowl. That ends up going in your broth, and you're just cooking food out of your broth bowl, hot pot, and all night long. That sounds like so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> like the new fondue, right? Oh, yeah, but way better. Yeah, right. <laughs> I had a gross fondue recently. It was very disappointing. Oh, that's so sad. It was just like not good quality. I mean, that's the whole point. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your um your go to like say I'm gonna go to have hot pot for the first Here time. What was what's what would you recommend? Oh boy. Um The segment will be called Build My Broth. <laughs> Uh, well, you got to decide if you're going like what kind of, I think what meat is important. If you're doing like a seafood mm-hmm. or you're doing more of like a beef or you're doing more of a chicken, we'll determine like what broth you get because there's like several different broths you okay. can get and each one has like a complement. There's even a broth okay. that has like a combination of all three. So if you're like you're indecisive, you just get like a, mix, a mixed broth. And then okay. I would get 
you know, you get your slice of meat, which the, the beef is good. I got, what did I get one time that wasn't as good? It was too gamey. I got lamb. Lamb wasn't a good oh, choice because okay. it's just too fatty. But okay. beef or chicken and then okay. order your seafood or all three. And then the vegetables. Oh my gosh, the vegetables that you can get. You get daikons, you get um, bok choy, uh, carrots, mushrooms, um, radishes. You know, the, it's a whole mixed vegetable platter you can you can order. And then there's a couple of different That's noodles. Um, they, have, they have something called rice cakes, which I've never had before until Hot Pot. Which, mm-hmm. which, like, I know a rice cake is, like, in your head, you go to the store and, like, your mom makes yeah. those, like, healthy rice cake <laughs> hard chunks. These aren't the... The tubes? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they're almost, like, wa- like they're the size of, like, water chestnuts, but they're just, like, rice. And, like, okay. they're, like, essentially, they, they are, they're molded rice into, like, a, like a quarter. Are those the it's pretty those things? They're, like, white and pink? I don't think they're pink, but they're, they're really okay. just a round noodle. Okay. Yeah, of rice. And, that sounds uh, great. Yeah. And then you just put it all. You can get meatballs. You can get all sorts of stuff. Meatballs. You get whatever you want. And you hot pot Dang. it. And it's delicious. We got to go. You got to go. Okay. I've been. We'll lot. do that. <laughs> Absolutely. I love to go. But you, my mind started trailing off while you were talking. Oh, sure. Because <laughs> as it does. But what's stopping anyone from doing hot pot as charcuterie or soups as charcuterie? Or sandwiches as charcuterie. You can do anything as charcuterie. Do you think charcuterie tops the sandwich thing? Like ups it? Like it's possible. The charcu- you know charcuterie, I mean? do I know what I mean? charcuterie is all about variety. I think. You know. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. We're gonna have to have a charcuterie off at some point. But we'll do charcuterie month. Nah, that'll be a special challenge. <laughs> this isn't interesting for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know who you think won Food Fight. <laughs> you might have won for that intro there. <laughs> Just this time. <laughs> Instagram uh, dot com slash top rope chef. TikTok, I don't know the name of that address yet. And then uh, email us top rope chef at gmail dot com and support us on Patreon. Patreon dot slash top rope chef. It's falling off a cliff there at the end, but that's okay. Yep. <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs>